Hi everyone, today I'm super excited to share what I learned from my conversation with Albert, the CEO of Uwavua, the largest e-commerce platform in Rwanda. Let's dive in. Starting with Uwavua was driven by the recognition of a need for an e-commerce platform in Rwanda. When Julia left the Rwandan market, Albert and his team realized that Rwandans still needed a solution to be able to buy products online, especially for those who are stuck at home during the pandemic, but also those who are at work. What was interesting for me to find out was how they came up with the name Vua Vua. Vua means fast in Kenya Rwanda, and what better name for the kind of service they're providing? We all wanted to know why Jumia left the Rwandan market, and Albert explained it to us. It became really hard for them to manage a foreign entity. But also at the same time, they received lots of pressure from their investors when they started raising funds, and they decided to focus on markets that were bigger. At the moment, there's a lot of talks about fundraising. We go on LinkedIn, we see another startup that's fundraised. It was to my surprise to find out that Vuba Vuba has been able to achieve all these success without raising any external funding. They've been self-funded since the start and Albert emphasized the importance of investing customer money back into the business before you can take up any investment. What is the secret sauce that the Vua Vua team figured out to build one of the largest e-commerce platforms in the region? Having a local tech team is important in the kind of business that they're doing. A team that can solve problems quickly and efficiently. Albert's background and upbringing coupled with the historical context of the country, motivated him to become an entrepreneur and make a change in his community and do something great for the country. When it comes to advice for aspiring entrepreneurs, Albert emphasized that you need to start small. You need to start by solving local problems. And once it starts growing, then you can go on it full time. Do not quit your job prematurely. You can make an impact in your own unique way, whether as an entrepreneur, or in other roles. And there you go, guys. That was an amazing conversation with Albert. I hope you got some value from this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful conversation. Till next time.